Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast for July 6th. Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times, brought to you by the Casino Wharf FX on the water in Falmouth Heights. There's nothing like fine waterfront dining, and there's nothing like the Casino Wharf FX in Falmouth. For reservations, call 508-540-6160. Now let's take a look at news. In the Sorry Charlie department, French rower Charlie Gerard, who left Orleans Wednesday hoping to cross the Atlantic Ocean alone in his boat, was picked up by the Coast Guard last night, 50 miles east of Provincetown, after he called a friend from a satellite phone asking for help. Gerard was caught in five to eight foot seas and had rolled seven or eight times in the boat, hurting his back. He was plucked from the boat by a Coast Guard helicopter around 9 p.m., leaving his boat to drift on the mighty Atlantic. Well, folks, what a short, sad story, but somehow poignant. As a matter of fact, we here at CapeCast have begun filming a fictionalized version of the tale called Alive, the Charlie Gerard story. Here's a sample. I will never forget this voyage. One long, long day into the cruel Atlantic. I thought she was my mistress, but she rolled me and rolled me like a greased pig in the back of a restaurant in Lyon. I knew then that I must call the Coast Guard and abandon my ship and go on to my next challenge, which will be learning how to play hopscotch. It's less risky. Quite touching, really. Turning to breaking news, folks, douse your enthusiasm for fireworks at least for one day. Because of murky weather, the town of Barnstable's fireworks display has been postponed until Saturday at dusk over Lewis Bay in Hyannis. In the Foxy Department, Dow Jones and Company denied a press report Friday that said Rupert Murdoch had agreed with the Dow Jones board to terms of a $5 billion bid for the company. Dow Jones is the parent company of Ottawa Newspapers, which owns the Cape Cod Times. Also, Route 6 westbound was closed for part of the afternoon today after an accident at exit 11. It's the summer recipe for gridlock, folks. A rainy day, an accident, and the peninsula grinds to a halt. Be careful out there. In the Watch the Birdie department, the mother of three osprey chicks who were saved from their burning nest yesterday has returned to a new nest near Chapin Memorial Beach in Dennis to feed her young. The chicks were rescued by a team of town departments, an NSTAR employee, and a wildlife care center yesterday from a flaming nest atop a utility pole and relocated to the new nest about 50 yards away. The mother osprey returned and regurgitated food for her babies. And we here at CapeCast were lucky enough to sample some of that osprey baby chow. Mmm, tastes like hermit crab. Okay, let's turn to the delicious world of sports. In Cape Cod Baseball League action last night, Yarmouth Dennis dunked Brewster 4-1, Katuit irked Orlean 7-6, Hyannis plastered Chatham 8-3, Harwich sandwiched Bourne 9-3, and Falmouth jammed Wareham 5-1. I counted 15 games on the schedule over the next three days at CapeCodOnline.com. Why not visit a ballpark near you and take in a Cape League game? Now, the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast for tonight. A chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly before 9 p.m., partly cloudy. With a low around 62, the weekend looks great. Sunny both days with a high near 80. And folks, coming this Sunday in the Cape Cod Times, duck and cover. Here come the paintballers. Check out the story in the business section and the online video by Jason Colnos. Here's a sample. <laughs> It's mostly about the adrenaline that you get when you're playing. You start sweating, you can feel like the paintballs coming at you and you get your adrenaline going. Ready? Aim? Okay, folks, we've got to get out of here. This has been CapeCast for July 6th. Have a great weekend. Till next time, see ya! CapeCast!